Hello and welcome to this invisible with you again. This time playing Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, a new game for my collection and yet an old game for its date of um, publishing. In this game we will play in the ancient times of Egypt where the gods were very well common. I'm not going to spoil you anything at all, so let's just begin the game. I will continue this time without saving because we'll I'll save later. Hmm, what's this place? The time I feared has arrived. The darkness prophesied will soon descend upon us, and we need to be prepared. I have chosen you both because you have already proven you are my most worthy acquaintances. My mission that you are about to embark will only will be a test to your strength and abilities. Pre prepare yourselves for the path ahead will be highly dangerous. I cannot guarantee you safe passage or that you will return alive. But you must go of your own choosing. Now is the time to stand down if you wish. I see. Since you have both accepted the task, I will transport us to the Ur to York, the land of darkness. There we you will need to find the blade of Osiris, an old and powerful sword protected by the demons of the Yurik. Prepare yourselves for the journey. Hmm. So, this is a task with two heroes. I wonder what will that be? So this is the Yurik, land of darkness. Or the underworld in the ancient Egypt. This is one of the characters. Yes, that is the infamous castle of Yurik. Nobody knows what goes on beyond these, those walls. At least nobody alive. But I can clearly feel the evil nature of what monstrous building. Look, as you can see, the Pierce Fairy Ray is, acti is active. And that troubles me deeply. Legend tells us that it protects the castle and the surrounding area of the Yurik with a formidable power. This area is full with traps and obstacles, but nothing as devastating as the ray. Beyond this point, my powers are useless. I'm afraid I can't accompany you any further. Now, both of you must search out the magical blade of Osiris. Only if you work Together, will you have a possibility of finding it? Good, good luck on your quests, my brave young adventurers. I think I can see something interesting in the rock structure over there. I'll go investigate it. You should check out this area. How can he see such a thing that far? Well then, we will play as this guy, and if you didn't yet. Uh, find the figures out. This is Sphinx. Well then this is the place of our first ever adventure. And that is the castle of the York with that weird ray in it. And this is basically the land of darkness. Hmm. Not that pretty place you were looking for, huh? I don't know. As you can see right here, the graphics are v w really well made. And all the way goes to the castle of the York. Anyway, let's go as that guy told us to do. To go. So then. Okay, this is one of the game's mechanicals. You can um, move around the ledges if you wish. If you can see right here, we have multiple buttons that are not assigned. This will be, we will be able to assign them later on in the game. 
Yes, it's not my first time to play it. We have here an explosive uh, flower. And some trees. Here, we have some rocks. <laughs> we can pick them up, drop them, and throw them. Let's uh, throw them one on this and see what happens. Well, a cobra snake. Let's get another one and try to kill that cobra snake. Good. This will be my second version of the first walkthrough because I my first version was a little bit much funnier and but uh, sadly it uh, was it got corrupted. Things come right now. Carry and throw it at that tree. I should be telling you that yes we have right now two coconuts. I'll be stopping the game each time I find myself somewhere to save the game. Now, that will be my mechanical, but right now, hmm, crows in the land of the dead, whatever. Throw it. These are the golden eggs, which are going to give you much he more health if you got struck by anything at all. Hey Sphinx, I'm over he here by the great lava fall. Come on over here, I need to show you something. Okay, so obviously, if you run into the lava, you will die. So jump, jump, and jump. See what does this guy want from us? Hmm, this is too high for you, isn't it? I don't understand why Master insisted on having you accompany me. You're just holding me back. I'm skillful enough to find the blade without your help. You'll need to figure out how to get up yourself. And simply because of the mechanicals of the game, they placed me something here. Now, for anything else, grab this rock and throw it at this last tree. Okay, three coconuts right now. So, wait for it. Jump, jump, and jump. Come to this place and jump again. Jump. What is that? Oh, that's just a tree. <laughs> what is it? Wow! Ow! Bleh! You're far too scrawny. I'm starving, but I'm not despaired enough to eat the likes of you. Too many clothes. Well... Um, no comment about that. If I only had a few coconuts, I haven't had a coconut in ages. Hmm, just think about them. Talk to him again since we have already three coconuts. Hey, you with the face paint, what's that smell on you? Is that? Yes, coconuts. Could I have some? Here you can see another uh, thing in the game, which is going to be the choices. You can either choose the first or the second word, or even multiple other Choices. Yes, help yourself or no, find your own. Surely I will give him because I'm a generous person. I'm not a, I'm not a bad one. Oh, thank you. That feels so much better. How did he eat them while he's still talking with us? Just step into my tongue and I can help you reach wherever you need to go. First, to choose the horizon direction and then choose the vertical di direction. I will spit you over the position you have, to, you have chosen. Choose carefully because if you... Tell me to spread you onto the, the lava, I will exactly do as you say. Okay, let's do this. Horizon, this, vertical, this. And ta-da, we are here. Hello there. Ah, you get up here at last. I didn't think you would make it. By the way, this guy is Horus. Yes, Horus, one of the Egyptian ancient gods. Your snail's piece has lost us precious time. Anyway, I have found the blood of Ra. Master Imhotep said it would allow us to walk on flowing lava and steam gases. 
But it it is impossible to go near it. I will need to find another solution. He is an idiot. Because of that, <coughs> we'll have to do this ourselves. So, grab this rock and throw it right in the middle one. Bingo. I don't know why I didn't think of that solution before. You were probably just lucky, or rather I knew the solution and I was simply talking with you. Anyway, Horus. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead waiting for you. And for that we get another ank. Let's come here and get some blood fra. We get this red thing aura, which will let us walk on the lava for a limited time. It depends on what the text will be for the time itself. Here's a little button, just grab this thing over here by using square button and go back. That's all for now. This will active for us this stream. Now, before we go there, we need to renew our blood of Ra. So, as fast as you can, and for the blood of Ra, run out. Come back here and jump over this place again. Jump, come to this thing again, and let it spit this again. Why well, then vertical? Now, go back to the shrine of the blood of Ra and renew your blood. Now we have a new blood for our aura, which will help us out more. Now, go back as fast as you can to the place that we have just active. Run, 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 and don't stop. We have a limited time here. Now, step on this thing. It will blast us up. Uh, um, jump again on this thing. And hurry up a little bit. Again. Now. What is this? This is what we, you can call a watching eye. You can see me and I can see you. Eye to eye contact. Anyway. As you can see, while he's still watching us, we cannot go through it. So we'll have to go stealth mode. How? Come to this ledge. And go like this a little bit. Self mode active. Now it doesn't see us. Make sure it doesn't see us and then jump. We are right behind it. Be careful, don't touch it, just go. That was a very easy one. Now, pick this rock up. We can't do anything about the ramp. There's another one here. Throw the rock at it. Goodbye. Now continue here. Don't stop moving. Continue on. Sphinx, over here. I think I may need your help. Look, if you can throw a rock at that animal's warren over there, perhaps you will get some help. Okay, now. <coughs> first things first, you'll notice that we have one, two, three, four trees. Let's go throw at them some rocks. Since it's the only weapon that we have right now. Go on, pick this one up. If you can hit them, they're both, it will be good. True. Okay. Golden scraps are the currency of this world. So you have to gather as many of them as you can. Through it again. Golden scraps. Okay, again. Um, throw it right there. Throw. Much more golden scraps. Now again, carry this one. And head right to here. Throw. And get the gun scrub now. As Horace told us to do, we will go right now to get us a rock and throw it on that cave. This cre these creatures may seem really harmless, but if they are annoyed, they will turn into a blasting energy they are so many just by spitting their own eggs now I will call these creatures by the name of Bum Bum for this game through ow 
What we need right now here to do is to lure them into those tro these troops and make them to get angry as fast as possible. Come, boom, boom. Good. One last one to go. The last one to go. Come on. Boom, boom, come on. <coughs> get angry, you stupid thing. And yes. Don't even think about going in the foot of it because you will die. Just follow it. Convenience enough, huh? Jump here, jump, jump. You cannot get another rock, so you will have to forget about this tree anyway. So, <coughs> this is the save point. From this point, you can press square and save your game. But since this is my second version of the game, I will leave you right now. So then, <coughs> that, that will be it for this video. So then, like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos in the future, and I hope to see you in my next parts. So then, invisible video, looking out. See you all guys later. Good luck.